Is it time for you to create a new menu? You wanna redesign it, right? It's quarterly, you've got seasonal things you wanna add. It's time because your creative juices are there and all you wanna do is wing it? Stop right now. I wanna share with you why winging menu changes can cost you thousands. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with RestaurantExpert.com, and I gotta tell you, I go absolutely bananas when I see restaurants follow what everybody else does. Meaning, they generally know what their protein costs, generally know what uh, a, a starch or side costs, and they generally pick a price out of their ass. Are you kidding me? How is it that you can make any money when you don't have recipe costing cards? Name me a business, a retail business, any other retail business that you know that the owners, the managers don't know what every item costs them so they know what to sell them for so they know they can make money. Yet in our industry, chef puts out a dish, puts it up in the window and you're $11.95, right? You're kidding me. And what's worse is we take that all the way through when it's time for a brand new menu. Oh, this menu's stale, this menu looks old, this menu needs to be changed. I'm all for that. But you need recipe costs and cards tied in with that expensive point of sale system, right? I say expensive because when you're not using the information, it's a cash register. But when you use the information, it can make you money because we can put all that information and based on what your recipe costs and what you sell it for and how many you sold, I can tell you, we can tell you exactly what your food cost should be if you had no waste, no theft, no spoilage, perfect restaurant, which does not exist. And then we'd say, okay, let's say your ideal food cost was 30%. I'm gonna give your kitchen manager or chef two points more for small mistakes. One and a half to two points. So if chef came in at a 32% food cost, I'm okay with that. Well, now it's time to re-engineer the menu. We wanna overcome a $15 minimum wage that's coming across the country, and we can't do it with labor costs alone. We need to adjust our menu. We know our food costs have been rising every single delivery. So now with recipe costs and cards and our menu mix, we don't willy-nilly put things in different spots because you could kill yourself. Literally lose thousands by putting an item that has a high food cost, low cash contribution, and a high moving area, put a picture and do all these things. So when I have recipe cards and I know what I wanna do with my mix, I've got the flexibility to understand that there's studies for eye movement that a single panel menu from the middle up sells the most, a two panel menu from the upper left to a third up from the bottom right. Anything in this quadrant sells more. Three panel menu, that there is literally three eye movements in the upper right hand side. I can place things, sections, right? If I want my house specialties, my pizzas, whatever it is I'm trying to drive food costs up and have a higher cash contribution, driving labor costs low, or I'm looking for low food costs, I can make those decisions based on budgeting and my actual numbers. So I decide based on eye movement. Studies have shown that if you have 10 items, five by each for my friends from Philly, the first, second, and last will sell the most. You mean if I put it in the first, second, or third position, I can change my bottom line? Yes. It's getting rid of the dot, 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 bold dollar sign, the priceless, burying that price, making it a half font size smaller than a capital letter. So it's just there. Make them read the great descriptions to make sure they want it if I'm a casual concept. It's making sure we understand that if I put a box around it, it outsells first, second, and last. If I put a picture, it'll scream off the menu. How do you decide what the box? How do you decide what goes in first, second, or last? How do you decide whether you have a picture without recipe costing cards? See, all too often I've seen people think they're doing a good job putting their menus out and actually see their profitability drop even after they've raised prices. Look, if you want help understanding this, Give us a call, toll free at 1-877-457-6278. Dial extension 106, ask for Greg Sauerbach, our solution coach. He's gonna be happy to help. This is David Scott Peters. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure and subscribe now to my YouTube channel. But before you go, download my free report. You'll find the link below in the description section. And be sure not to miss these other videos with expert tips to help you run your restaurant.